Hello, my name is Molten Snow. I'll be teaching you how to distill moonshine in this video and how to eventually sell it. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is go over the entities that you can spawn as a moonshine distiller. And those would be a distillery, a distillery cooler, a distillery condenser, a fermentation barrel, wood, jar pack, jar crate, grinder, paper bag, sugar, water, yeast, and a pallet. These are what all the entities look like. We got the grinder, a paper bag, and yeast. You grind up the yeast and store that in a paper bag, and this is what that looks like. Sugar and water, a fermentation barrel, wood to fuel the dis distillery, uh, a construction kit. These are the construction kits. The cooler goes on first and the condenser goes on second. Our jar crate to put the moonshine in, or a jar pack rather, and a jar crate to store the filled uh, jars in. Now you can pick these up in your inventory and sell them like that, or you can put them on this pallet. I recommend doing it via your inventory. Um, obviously, if you're going to be making a lot of this, you can dump your inventory out in your bank and just have a lot of that. So, the first thing that we need to do is make our distillery. I recommend going over with your fizz gun and keeping it in place by freezing it because the distillery likes to rotate for some reason. I don't know why, but it likes to turn around in circles. So, as I said, the cooler goes on first and you clicky on it and then you click mouse one on the distillery itself now if you go too far away or if the red cooler gets too far out of range like it is going to as soon as I get across this barrier it will cancel so you got to stay in range uh, of your mouse and then click on the distillery and it's the same process for some reason you don't connect the condenser to the cooler, whoops, you connect it to the distillery and that connects it to the cooler, it's weird. So there's this upgrade menu where you can upgrade certain um, attributes like speed and uh, productivity and you got basic production and basic speed which you can get at any rank. But for VIP uh, speed and production, you're going to need any rank. So it doesn't matter whether it's VIP, VIP plus, MVP, or GOAT. You can buy as long as you have one of those two ranks. I'm not going to buy any any for demonstration purposes because I got to explain. And I, I just want base rates. So now that we have everything set up, you're going to notice a couple things adding on to this silver. The fact that the name of it is right here mash and fuel is also right here and there's values given to those we got good zone which this is uh this is what temperature it is and uh this is the good zone so you want there's going to be a little tiny circle here and you want it in the good zone for maximum productivity if it goes above the good zone or, or whatever you want to call it you can uh, hold e on the the pressurize button right here and it will lower the temperature the cooler cares about two things is there water in the cooler and what temperature is the cooler so there will be uncooled uh what is it called moonshine here in this bar and uh and moonshine right here and this and regular moonshine just goes into the condenser so it, the more hot moonshine you have the more water and the hotter the cooler is going to get so I can show that to you by spawning in some water and that's how you fill the cooler and I'm just gonna pretend right now that the cooler is let's say 80 degrees and that's way too hot if your cooler is 80 degrees you got something wrong with you so what you need to do is you need to cool it but you can't put in water because it's already filled so what you can do is you can release a little bit of water just a love tap and then you're able to use a whole new bottle bottle which lowers it by 20 25 degrees so you can keep on doing that over and over again and i'm not showing you this because right at, at the moment because it it distills really fast so now you got jar packs which you can put on here and once they get filled up you put them in a dark crate and once again you can put them on top so now we actually need to put uh mash in here and the way you make mash is by putting two water two uh two sugar 
and two grinded up yeast in here. And the way you grind up yeast is by putting yeast in the grinder, putting a paper bag on the grinder. And I recommend holding E on the center part right here and being really close. For some reason, if you're a little bit farther away, it will lag and it will grind still, but very finicky. You can just put these all in the fermentation barrel. It's gonna ask you to shake it afterwards. And then it's gonna, and then it's gonna ferment for a while. It takes about a minute. Now, I have the ability of hindsight, so I already have a barrel over here. It's like magic. And there's 1,500 mash in it. You dump the mash over here. And then you need to clean it. And this is so that you can reuse it. Now it's good to go. Now, nothing's actually happening right now because we need fuel. And we need wood for the fuel. Now, each piece of wood gives 100 fuel units. And it uses about 150 to cook 1,500 mesh. And as you can see, the temperature is rising. I'm just going to reinforce the idea in your head so you don't forget. And eventually, the cooler is going to um, increase in temperature once the degrees get hot enough. Hot enough, rather. There we go. So now it's slowly beginning to uh, make moonshine. And the hotter it is, the faster it's going to be. Once it gets out of the good zone, you'll hear hissing coming from this meter right here. And at that point, drop whatever you're doing and come over here and depressurize it. Because your, um, your distillery is going to blow. And this hatch will open. And all of your mash will be dumped out. And that will just be one big use. And as you can see, right here is the moonshine, and right here, this little tiny blip that pops up every once in a while, is the unfiltered or the uncooled moonshine. So we're starting to collect jars. Let's put another one in. Oh, there we go. See? Now we're gonna. Uh, make moonshine really fast. I'll show you what hissing looks like. It's, it's gonna do so right now. There we go. And I don't care about this mash, so if it does bust, that would be good for demonstration purposes, but I think we're gonna run out of mash beforehand. And that's what it looks like. Oh, it gets rid of the fuel too. That's weird. I don't know why it would do that, but there we go. So now I'm gonna add speed upgrades. Now these upgrades will get dirty over time. And all you need to do is jump up and clicky on them, and it will clean them. That's it. I totally forgot about that. Anyway, so now I have your jar crate. Once again, you can put it on the pallet, bring the pallet to the guy, and then sell it. But you can't inventory the pallet. So you would have to physically bring it there, and that could be risky. So now that we have moonshine in our inventory, and once again, you cannot sell single jars. You have to have it in a jar crate. So now we are going to go sell it to a moonshine distillery, or a moonshine buyer, rather. And there are three locations. This is uh, the residential area, for reference. And here's one moonshine buyer, right next to the meth buyer. And down this tunnel into the right is, uh, is Fountain, for another reference. Over here is another Moonshine Buyer, right next to the casino. And over here is another Moonshine Buyer. So as you can see above their head, 
uh, they will buy each jar for $3,637. Now, the one back there actually sells it for more. So, uh, this guy sells it for, or buys it for $3,927 a jar. So, you can drop it at his feet and click E on him to sell it to him. Now, there's a glitch right now, I don't know if it's still prevalent, but it will, um, it won't be exactly right. Looks like that one was about right. Uh, my name has been Molten Snow. If you enjoyed my content, maybe give it a like and a subscribe. It'll be helpful. Um, I try pumping out these videos more and more often, but it's it's become a hassle. Uh, if you have any recommendations for videos, you can contact me at Mo Molten Snow hashtag nine 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 on Discord. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.